Hey, hello everyone, welcome back. So, in our today's tutorial, I will show you how to create an analog clock in Android. So, as you can see, this is our analog clock, and we will create this type of analog clock in our today's tutorial. So, without wasting much time, let's start our tutorial. Head back to Android Studio. So here I had created a simple Kotlin project. I had give it name as analog clock and as you can see this is my XML file and this is my main Kotlin file. And this is my build.gradle file. You can find it out here. This one. And in order to create an analog clock we need to use some external libraries. I will give you a link of this library in description. By using this library we can create this type of analog clock and which will take current time from your system right whatever time shows in your system here the same time it will show in analog format in your application so let's start creating this analog clock just copy this dependency and paste it into your build.gradle file under dependency section and then sync your project go to library again and this is our XML code to create our analog clock. Just copy this and paste it to our XML file. Wait until it completes its syncing process. Once the syncing of your project has been completed successfully, go to your XML file and then paste that copied XML code here. As you can see, your analog clock has been created. You can Change the width and height of your application of your clock from here. I am giving it as 300 dp. Right. You can use all the content on the properties of XML file here. For example, ID and name and whatever uh, parameters of XML like a normal uh, attribute you can use here. You can also change the color and do all type of stuff. Before that, let's run the program and see if it gives us expected output or not. As you can see, our analog clock has been created and it shows the correct time as per our system time. It takes the time from our system uh, properties and set the time in our analog clock. So in this way, by using this library, you can create the analog clock. So hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching.